I am Jonas and this is another micro learning video from vhjavos.com. Today I'm going to show you how you can print the value of a variable or a signal to the simulator console. Here we have a VHDL test bench with five signals of different types. I'm going to start with a boolean signal. Let's just go to my process here and type report because we're going to use the report statement to print the signal names. And first I'll just print a regular string bool colon space and this will reappear just as it's typed in the monosim console so that we can easily identify this printout and then i'm going to concatenate by using the ampersand character i'm going to concatenate with the value of this signal and the way we can convert a boolean signal to a string in vhdl is by starting with the boolean type mark and not the actual signal name but boolean Start with that and enter without any space, single quotation mark image, parenthesis. And then inside of there, you can put the bool signal. So what's going on here is that we are calling what's called an attribute on the type of the signal. And this function is like a function call. It returns uh, a value. It takes a parameter and returns a value. And the parameter has to be the actual signal name that we want to convert to a string. So this is how you convert a boolean to a string in VHDL. So let's save this, try it in Molsim, and we can see here, bool colon true, that worked well. We can do the same for the next signal of standard logic type, report sl colon, concatenate with standard logic image sl. Let's see if that worked. And we see here sl colon bit value one, it worked. So we can do the same for the next signal of type integer. Integer image and insert the name of the signal, which is int. Save it and try it out. Okay, so far so good. Int 99, which is the same as the value from the VHDL code. But what about the unsigned type? We can't use the same image attribute on the unsigned, not directly because this is not a part of the VHDL language, it comes from a package. But we can convert it to an integer and print it like an integer. So we can type uns and concatenate with integer image just as we did with the integer. And inside of here we're going to have to convert this unsigned signal to an integer by using two underscore integer and insert the uns signal in there. So it's a bit longer, but it works. I'm going to save this now and run it. And we can see here uns some decimal value, and this is the decimal value, the unsigned value of this hex value, which I have in the VHDL code. So that worked. And it's the same story with the standard logic type. We can't directly convert this to integer nor hex, but we can do it like this. We can type slv colon concatenate with integer image to integer, but we are not done yet because we have to convert this standard logic vector to an unsigned also. Unsigned slv, so it's a bit complicated, but this is how you can print the integer value of this standard logic vector to the console. So let's try it out. We see here the integer value of this hexadecimal value that I entered in the VHDL code. So it's a bit complicated. We have the standard logic vector converted to an unsigned, converted to an integer, and then we're calling the integer image attribute on that object, but it works. But what if we want to print this standard logic type as, for example, a hexadecimal string, we want to have this representation. We can do that too, but then we have to include another package. We can use the, or type use std.textio.all semicolon. So this is standard package, but you have to include it to use it. And then I'm going to print this standard logic vector as a hexadecimal value. We're using report, slv, colon, and I'm going to append some more string text here, 0x, just to 
show that this is actually a hexadecimal value because we don't get that from the printout and then concatenate with the function from this text.io package which is two underscore h string and insert the standard logic vector so this should work but it's not going to work if you don't compile this test bench as VHDL 2008 so I'm going to right click my file in Monsim go to properties go to VHDL make sure that it's compiled using VHDL 2008 because that function only exists in the latest or the 2008 standard so we can try again now and here we see SLV 0 x a b c d e f which is the value from the bsgl code and similarly i'm going to duplicate this line we can print it as a binary so i'm just going to change the string here from 0x to 0b for binary and instead of 2h string i'm going to use 2b string let's try that out and here we see the binary representation long binary 24-bit string and by the way you have to make sure if you use this to integer it's going to overflow if it's longer than 31 bits it's going to overflow because integers in VHDL are only 32 bits so you have to take care not to overflow the, uh, the value and that's not going to work it's going to print the wrong value but in our case this signal is only 24 bits so it does work to convert it to an integer but this one to h string and to b string it works for every length of this standard logic vector okay i think we're going to stop there but now you know many different ways to print vhdl signals or variables these methods also work with variables just as well as signals thank you for watching this micro learning video if you want more free articles and tutorials go to vhdl.com or click the link in the video description